awesome, you two. Seriously. Oh, I'm lucky here, and today we're going to be continuing our booster box battle between AST and PGD, or Pharaonic Guardian and Ancient Sanctuary. And today we'll be doing our Ancient Sanctuary booster box opening. And so hopefully we get some epic cards inside. But first I wanted to thank our friends at Ultra for the beautiful but sad, the epic but amazing, the awesome, the Sword Art Online Yuki Playmat. Very beautiful. And of course we'll be using our yellow sleeves to verse on our orange sleeved Pharaonic Guardian. And yes, many of you know the Pharaonic Guardian is a pretty epic set, especially for like booster box battles, so I'm a little scared, but Ancient Sanctuary does have some awesome agent cards inside. But uh, booster box wise, I definitely am looking forward to get the Burst Stream of Destruction or the Dark Magic Attack. So let's pop this box open and see what's inside. Alright. Yes, thank you Ultra Pro for the epic sleeves and play that. Alright you guys. So, Ancient Sanctuary booster box. Here we go. Classic box smell. Very nostalgic. Definitely have to hit up one of those packs inside. Dang, this is a very sturdy box here. Alright you guys, Ancient Sanctuary. You also have Enemy Controller in here. That's another good card. But of course, like I said, Burst Stream of Destruction or Dark Magic Attack. End of Anubis, a cool secret rare inside. Mazra to build. Classic cards in here. Oh, you have a uh, Fusion Swamp King. There we go. Swamp King's always been a very good rare. Mystic Walk. Nice. The third sarcophagus. So you got that guy in here. Emissary of the Oasis. You have Emissary of the Afterlife. Micro Ray. Avatar of the Pot. <laughs> really? You just got to think about that name for a second. Avatar of the Pot. Backing Lights. Nice. Vampire Lady. Enchanting Fitting Room and Sand Gambler. This guy definitely thinks he's cool. But yes, Avatar of the Pot for our first rare. Next pack. Here we go. Come on, Ancient Sanctuary. What do you have in store for us? Micro Red. Defensive one face-up monster on the field becomes zero. The Unhappy Girl. The Disc Fighter. Soul Reversal. Spell Economics. It's Labyrinth of Nightmare. During the end phase of the turn, change the battle position of all face-up monsters. So this could be good. Regenerating Mummy, 1800 attack, definitely very good. Weapon Change, ooh, another good card. Protector of the Sanctuary, there we go, getting some good booster box battle cards, I'm liking this. The Law of Normal, oh man. You can only activate this card when there are five face-up, level two or lower normal monsters on your side of the field. Both players discard all cards in their hand, destroy all cards in the field except the normal monsters. Wow. Metal Armor Bug, Solar Ray. Goblin King, oh man. This guy can't be attacked if there's another fiend type monster on your side of the field. The attack and defense of this card becomes the number of fiend monsters times 1,000. And then, oh baby, the secret rare, the Mazra Deville. Nice, already getting this epic secret rare card. Awesome. This card cannot be normal summon or set. This card can only be special summoned by offering one face of Warrior of Zera on your side of the field as a tribute, while Pandemonium, Pandemonium, is on your side of the field. So this box... It's trying to get a little insane on us, if you ask me. Pandemonium's on your side of the field when you special summon this card successfully. Your opponent discards three cards at random. Holy crap. Wow. I didn't actually realize how cool that guy was. Maybe we'll put him in my Pandemonium deck. Desert Sunlight, Spirit Caller, Blessings of the Nile. Each time cards are discarded from your hand, it's great. Your opponent increases your life points by a thousand. Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. Oh man, this guy's actually really good. A monster that battles with it while it's in defense position is returned to the top of the deck. During the end of the damage step. <laughs> but nice. Mazra Deville. Freaking awesome. Oh, these are pro matte yellows. Cool. Secret rare already. Very cool. Gotta get some Moyer of Zeras though. Solar Ray. Goblin King again. Nice. If we can get some Goblin Kings going, that'd be cool. Emissary of the Afterlife. Ooh, Agent of Creation. Pay 500 life points, get one Mystic Shine Ball from your hand or deck and special summon to your side of the field. Another Jiu-Jitsu Master, very cool. Beckoning Light, Fiend Scorpion, in our level 2 normals now. So yeah, Agent of Creation, so we got to get our Agent cards. 1600 Attack 2, not bad. Some shine Balls, some Human Wave Tactics for our normal cards. Uh, Piranha Army. Automatic Atomic Firefly. Solar Flare Dragon, not bad. And there it is, the super rare, the sanctuary in the sky. Awesome. It's freaking sweet that we pulled that. 
Got some wombos with that for sure. But yeah, Solar Flare Dragon, cool. Arcane Archer of the Forest. Dust Barrier, Sonic Jammer, Pharaonic Protector. The Mummy of a Soldier that has guarded the Royal Family for thousands of years. Even now, its spirit does not allow anybody to trespass. Spirit of a Soldier. Very cool. Sanctuary in the Sky. Another Solar Flare Dragon. Awesome. Law of the Normal. Camouflage. Talisman of Spell Sealing. For that Seal Master guy. <laughs> Sonic Jammers. Desert Sunlight. Blessings of the Nile. All monsters on your side of the field are changed to face-up defense position. That could be cool. Good Wombo with this defense and attack cards that are in this set. Sanctuary in the sky. Oh, by the way, it's effect. Battle damage to the controller of a fairy type monster from a battle involving that fairy type monster becomes zero. That is just a very weird way to say that, but okay. Classic Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Nubian Guard. Backfire for our fire monsters. Three Hump Lakuda. Earthquake. And there's the Seal Master Mise. Uh, one of the few people who has good command of the talismans. His history is a mystery. His history. Is a mystery. <laughs> That's cool. Regenerating Mummy, nice. Weapon Change, Mermaid Knight. Ooh, Ninjutsu Art of Transformations in here? No way. Is there any ninjas, though? I don't know if there's any ninjas. But yeah, you can pull out the uh, Armored Bug with that. Okay. There we go, another backfire. Second Sarcophagus. The Asian of Wisdom, Mercury. When you have no cards in your hand during your opponent's end phase, draw one card from your deck during your next standby. Cool. Some agent. Blessings of the Nile. Lujitsu. Lujitsu master. I just combined those words. Beckoning light. Vampire lady. I don't know about the vampire lady. Absorbing kid from the sky. Des uh, desert appear. However you say that. Goblin thief. 2,000 needles. When the uh, defense position of this card is attacked and the attack and the attack and lower than defense position damage calculation. When the defense position card is attacked and the attack of the attacking monster is lower, destroy that card after damage calculation. Nice and ultra rare spirit of the Pharaoh. This guy, this guy may not be possible to play in our booster box battle, but he looks freaking epic. I always use a lot of this guy's picture. This card cannot be normal summoned or set. That kind of sucks, but that's okay. This card cannot be special summoned except by the effect of the first sarcophagus. When this card is special summoned, you can special summon up or level 2 or lower to zombie type normal monsters from your graveyard. Whoa. I didn't realize he did that. Night Assailant? Hey! That's actually extremely good for a booster box battle. Dora of Fate, and there's a Mystic Shine Ball. I think Dora of Fate's not bad either. Check out that card another time. But yeah, Night Assailant, definitely. Cool guy for our booster box battle. Spirit of the Pharaoh. Look at that guy. Very awesome. All right, next pack. I need a first sarcophagus, second sarcophagus, third card sarcophagus. I think the actual third one's a super or something, or the first one. Two thousand needles. Order to smash. Select one face of level two or lower normal monster, and on your side of the field, and activate this card. Once card resolves, you can offer that selected monster as a tribute. Destroy one or two spell traps on your opponent's side of the field. The Kickman. Sword of Soul Eating. Soul of Re Resurrection. Elephant Statue of Blessing, Desert Sunlight, Spirit Caller. Alright, come on, give me some more epic cards for the Beast Box Battle. We can use some more Night Assailants. Some more Regenerating Mummies. Here we go. Disc Fighter, Soul Reversal. Aswan Apparition. Cool. Judgment of the Desert. Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. Some cool zombie wombos there. Wow, the Wall of Revealing Light. Oh no. When you activate this card, pay a multiple of 1,000 life points. None of your opponent's monsters can attack with equal to or less than the life points you paid. <laughs> oh crap. Pay 3,000. I think that might cause a problem in our booster box battle. Rocket Jumper. Light of Judgment. Monster Gate. Oh, that's a fun card. Last pack on the right side. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Feeling a super thousand energy. <laughs> All right, Mermaid Knight again. Ninjutsu Art of Freezing. All right, you guys. Now for the left side. 
Come on, Ancient Sanctuary. We only have three foils. Jeez. Let's get that. So for a booster box battle in Ultra Rare, we definitely want is Enemy Controller. But if we're looking for the best, probably Dark Magic Attack. Disc Reversal. Or Blowback Dragon. Oh, baby. That's actually a pretty good Ultra. I was like, I feel like I'm missing one. Blowback Dragon would definitely be good for a booster box battle. Awesome. It's a six-star, 2,300 monster. Toss three coins of at least two or heads. Destroy one card on your opponent's side of the field. Nice. Once per turn. Very epic card. Nice. Blowback Dragon. Another Monster Gate. Yes, there we go. Night Assailant. Another Mystic Shine Ball. Dang, if we get another Venus, we can wombo it up with our Shine Balls and Venuses. Balls and Venuses. <laughs> Dora Fate. Oh, man. That's actually not a bad card either. All right, here we go. Come on, three Night Assailants. Judgment of the Desert. Special Hurricane. Discard one card. Discard one card. Destroy all special summon monsters in the field. Could be interesting. <laughs> oh, baby. Three Night Assailants. If you guys don't know this effect, just uh, figure it out for you here. Select one monster opponent side of the field and destroy it. Man in your buck. When this card is sent directly from your hand to the graveyard, return one flip effect monster from your graveyard to your hand. So, if you have another Night Assailant, get the other Night Assailant. You can switch it out. Pretty cool. Some Night Assailant Wombo combos there. Is he still limited to one? Probably. All right, here we go. There we go. Finally, a warrior is there. We still haven't got Pandemonium. I know that's a rare. Three Goblin Kings. There we go. Mystic Walk. Grave Protector. As long as card remains facing the field, monsters that are destroyed as a result of battle return to the owner's deck. 2,000 defense, though. Sand Gambler. Another Wall of Revealing Light. There's some pretty, pretty epic cards in here, guys. Just stall it out. Blowback Dragon, too. That'll be fun. Solar Ray. Inflects 600 points of damage to your opponent's life points for each face of light monster on your side of the field. Oh, dang. Double Costin. Oh, man. Two tributes for a dark monster. Sand Gambler again. Another Wall of Reeling Light. Another Warrior of Zera. His flavor text. A warrior. A wandering warrior who seeks the sanctuary where he can gain the power of the Ark Lords. To escape the temptation of evil fiends, he fights solo, day by day. <laughs> the fiends. The fiends. The, so it's like the devils and the angels. He is the chosen one, but which side will win him over? Okay, here we go. Another solar flare dragon, awesome. A lot of normal, solar ray, triangle power. Jiu Jitsu master, Moki Moki. Moki Moki Smackdown. Come on, Pandemonium and Warrior of Sarah. Wait, Pandemonium's not even in this set. That's Dark Crisis, son of a biscuit. <laughs> the third sarcophagus. And then, oh baby, a Super Edge of Borg, the Thunder Monarch. Holy crap, I was not even thinking about that guy. Totally forgot he was in here. When this card's tribute summon successfully, successfully destroy one monster on the field. Wow. That is definitely going to be epic with our Blowback Dragon. Cool. Some epic booster box battle cards now. Now we're getting exciting. This is good. Good stuff. Yeah, and Pandemonium's in Dark Crisis. <laughs> but that's okay. So we can't use Masra Deville. And we can't really use Spirit of the Pharaoh, but Blowback and Zabort, that's what we're talking about. All right, next pack. Earthquake. All face of Monster Field and change to defense position. That's a pretty cool card. And Agent of Wisdom Mercury. Dang it, I was hoping for another Agent of Wisdom uh, Jupiter. Venus. Dang it. Venus in the balls. Mercury's not bad. Sonic Jammer just supposed to have 2,000 defense. Spirit Caller and Blessings of Denial. Got our Goblin Kings, though. Goblin Kings will work very well together. Three Hump Lakuta Earthquake. Talisman of Tia Trap Sealing. Mermaid Knight, Dust Barrier. Okay, four packs left, you guys. Come on. Heart of the cards. Dun 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 dun. Go giga giga gago giga gago. His soul's long since collapsed. His body recklessly continues. That's interesting. Onward. Driven by the lust for more power, he is no longer resembles him, his former self. King of the Swamp. There we go. Epic rare. For those polymerization decks. Labyrinth of Nightmare. During the end phase of each turn, change the battle position. Regenerating Mummy. Sort of a change. Weapon change and protector of the sanctuary. I feel like those cards are constantly together. 
All right, you guys, three packs left. Nubian guard, Kozaki. This is the set he's in. A workaholic fiend who devotes everything in his research into languages of the dark world. His mind has collapsed because of working too hard. It's like more like he's possessed. Stone statue of the Aztecs. Any battle damage your opponent takes while attacking this card is doubled. Awesome. Regenerating mummy again, protector of the sanctuary. Ooh, Lady Ninja, there is the freaking Lady Ninja in here. Discover one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Return all spell trap cards your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. We need another one of her. Why is she so hard to pull? Could have done some insect wombo combos. Tribute in. An ninja on your side of the field. Some super armor. Insect. Two packs left. Judgment of the Desert. Absorbing kids from the sky. 2,000 needles. Draining shield. That's a really good trap. Now this one actually negates the attack and then you gain the life points of the monster. So that's good. Delta attack. Elephant statue of disaster. When this card is sent directly from your hand to the graveyard, by an effect target controlled by your opponent, inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. Only got one of him, too. All right, you guys. Last pack of Destiny. We have three, six foils here, which is the kind of the average for the old classic stuff. But we get one more super rare here. That would be awesome. Card of the cards, you guys. Kaiba! Dun, 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 dun. Da, dun, 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 dun. Even the nightmare. Cool. Hey, we got another Mystic Shine Ball. Delta Attacker. Mephine Scorpion. Lab of the Nightmare. Awesome. Which is actually the name of the set, too, if you think about it. Cool, a lot of epic common cards there. I think the booster box battle will pretty be interesting. I mean, we got the Zaborg, we got the Blowback Dragon. Stone Aztec Statue, got a lot of usable foils there, too. All right, even the Nightmare for our recap. Actually, before we continue doing this, I wanted to give a shout out to Ideal 808, an awesome website with a ton of epic Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'll put a link at the top of the description below, so you guys please check them out. All right. We got Draining Shield, that'll be good. King of the Swamp, the Talisman Guy, Mercury might not be bad, Venus, of course. Triangle Power, Double Costin, Grey Protector, Special Hurricane, maybe. Spool, Soul Absorbing a Bone Tower, Soul Resurrection. That's only special summons normals. I don't think we can use that. Mercury, Seal Master, Economics, and Avatar of the Pot. Cool. But yeah. Dang, if we pulled two Venuses, we could have done Shine Ball combos. Still, Mercury's not bad. And then for our foil cards, you guys, we got the Sanctuary in the Sky, uh, Stone Statue of the Aztecs, we got the Zaborg, we got Masra Deville for our Secret Rare, and Spirit of the Pharaoh. Can't really use those guys, though, but they are, they, they do they do look very cool. Awesome. And then our Blowback Dragon, which is a machine. Very awesome. I'm looking forward to this boost box battle. I think it'll be pretty sweet. And once again, YouTube, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for our building of the decks and the versus or the duel between these epic booster boxes. And then I want to ask you guys to check out my channel and subscribe for more epic videos. And see you on Lucky signing out. Oh!